At the moment, we are playing with things in the grass, and as you can see, there is a spider holding on to dear life on a piece of grass, I suppose, just as we are. Now, we've been seeing these spiders all over at the moment, and I'm almost certain that it is a hairy field spider. There are about 14 different species of hairy field spiders out here in South Africa, so they all got slightly different sort of colorations but this one looks very much like it and it is related to the orb web spiders and in case you're wondering an orb web spider we get golden orb webs which spin the most beautiful webs and then we get the garden uh, orb web spiders which have got well the most beautiful colors and patterns that you have ever seen on a spider and then as well as a really bizarre one that in case you didn't know is also in the gold and also in the orb web spider family is the kite spider which is that one that has well interesting shapes to it also normally brightly colored this one however has not got any interesting shapes but it definitely does have some beautiful marking i'm just going to jump in back over here which is there another bug? No. I can't see it. Where is the other bug? Oh! I oh, wonder what that is. That's an interesting looking thing. I have no idea what it is. It's got massive legs, so it must jump very well. Very long antenna, which it will use as a sensory organ to identify different things. Now, I'm not certain if it knows that there is a spider a couple of millimeters away from it but that spider doesn't actively hunt. So it wouldn't sort of go and grab it. They normally wait for something like that to get stuck in its web. Now they build their webs at night and they're sort of hard working at night time, like most spiders sort of are, and then they hide away like this one is doing on the tip of all well, the inflorescence of the grass or on a shrub under a leaf, just trying to hide away so that it prey does not spot it and give away its presence sort of of its web and then it will get stuck in the web and it will go down and bite it and then eat it eventually now this web looks a little bit tattered but i, I think this animal this animal the spider has made its web on an animal pathway which is a bit silly because it's going to get knocked and damaged quite often now james you've asked if spiders will remove unpalatable insects from their web i'm sure they will because spiders are actually um, quite neat and tidy you, you won't see too much debris in a spider's webs um, they will often take things away so with the stabilimentum when you see with a garden orb sometimes it can be a little of a little bit of debris sort of uh, uh, all stuck in there that's my stomach making those weird noises sorry i'm just i'm heard a strange noise and i panicked for a moment but it was just coming from my my tummy um but they're, they're incredible they're incredible these spiders now oh what did it just drop did you see that david i don't i it's a very difficult of course for me to see i'm sitting a little bit further away but the spider is is quite interesting it did just drop something out of its mouth as you can see i'm a fair distance away and of course it's really great because you've got an up close personal shot of the spider and its friend the insect now just as that thing has long legs I don't know if all of you heard what happened to me this morning, but I was hit in the face by a massive grasshopper. So grasshoppers are able to jump quite high. This particular one was able to jump from the ground straight up about a meter and a half, and it hit me square in the face. I then was sort of hunched over because I was putting my coffee cup down on my bedside table. I then stood up straight, smashed my head against my shelves, which were above me, knocked all the books off of it, which then came tumbling down and knocked my, knocked my lamp off of the table, as well as my coffee cup. It did about three backflips and then smashed all over the floor. I was covered in coffee, my bed was covered in coffee, everything was covered in coffee this morning. It was quite fantastic, but I did, yes, I caught the insect safely and I took it outside. It was not harmed, I promise. I did maybe throw it outside though, but it, it got outside safely. Nonetheless, they've got weak, poorly developed uh, wings, so for something like that, I'm sure it would have had a, an okay landing and not a crash landing. We're going to see what else we can find. We'll we'll keep checking for those hairy field spiders as we move around and see if we can find some that are eating things. Oh, 